Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends. This is part three of the comical grasshopper build. Um, in this video, we'll get the shell painted, well, cut, painted, and all the decals on, and the plastic bits, and we'll get it mounted to the car, ready for running. So let's get cracking. Right, before I start, I'll just go through what you actually get in the kit. So obviously you get a polycarbonate shell, um, resembling the shape of the original grasshopper, but obviously a lot stubbier. Um, Interestingly enough, there's three pieces on this shell. Um, so you've got the you've got the main shell as you can see, and you've also got this this bit here, which is the underneath of the rear end. So this will need cutting out, and then with sticky tape, this goes underneath the back of the main shell. And funny enough, I've just found out that it's got the spotlight lenses in there as well, and I've actually spent about 15 minutes in the box looking for it. I thought they'd be. I thought it'd be made of plastic, so that was a waste of time. So that's the shell. So we're going to get that cut out. Um, obviously, you get your window masks, so I'll get those cut out, um, and then we'll um, get it sprayed. You also get the the Willy driver. Now, as any of you who follow me know, my painting skills are pretty terrible, um, but I'm going to give this a go, and I'm just going to go very basic. I've got the. Um, I've got the flesh colour and I've, I've gone for silver. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave his helmet uh, white, obviously his face. I'm going to try to leave his eyes white. Never done this before. Um, this like fireproof thing they wear, the balaclava bit, I'll, I'll do in um, silver as well. And then I'll try to do this rim in black. Steering wheel I'll do in black, but I have no idea how that steering wheel fits because it's not in the instructions. So I don't know if you just glue it and into his hands, I'm not sure. I'll also do his, his gloves and his seatbelt in silver. Um, I think that's going to look really cool, but um, we will see. So that's that. Um, the decals are mega cool, I must admit. You get quite an array of different ones. So you've got the standard grass, uh, grasshopper, but at the bottom end you get some different um, sort of Tamiya logos and, and things like that that you can put on. I'll, as always, I just do box art. Um, what is interesting um, for someone like me who just generally does the vintage stuff is the there's decals for every part of the shell. So where's like on the original hard body grasshopper, the roof struts you've got to paint in black and stuff. You actually get D and then the, these two lines here which I generally paint silver. Um, you have decals to do that. Even the exhaust ports on the on the car, instead of painting them, you've got decals for it. Obviously, you've got the option to paint if you want, but I'll uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with what the the instructions say and, and give it a go. Um, you also for the driver, you also get. Um, let me just see if I can show you different um, couple of options for helmets decals, which are really cool. Um, so obviously if you've got really good painting skills, as I know a lot of you have out there with the willy drivers, you could really make this something special. Um, so that's that, and I'll just pan this over, and then this is the plastics that I've dug out and the screws this morning. So I've got the spotlights, um, body clips, these two mountings are for the willy driver, um, double sided tape to stick down that rear spoiler, various different screws. Um, and then I've cut these four pieces of, the, and this is what the body sits on. Um, this slides over the body mountings and gives it that, um, the height it needs. So let's Right, that's um, the body shell cut out, these little pieces, that's quite a fiddly little piece to cut out and get the edges right, two spotlight lenses, problem with that is I can't remember which side it was on the body so I can't remember which way the protective film's on, never mind, I'll have to figure that out, and that's the body shell, the body shell's relatively easy to cut out, it's, it's all pretty much straight lines, and I've got the, the window masks in, which is a little bit fiddly as always, but if you just take your time. So the other thing I did forget to tell you is um, the box art is just Tamiya PS1, um, box standard white. Um, I've seen these done in many colours actually. Um, 
And I think when it's done in yellow, it looks super cool. But again, as always, unbox that. So, right, we're gonna go spray. Um, problem I have here is it's actually minus 15 today, so this is gonna be a bit of a mission to get this paint warm enough and this shell warm enough, so I think we're gonna have to enroll the help of a hot hair dryer. Right, let's get cracking. Right, that's the shell painted. Um, the paint's drying now, but I'm gonna let, let, leave it to harden. Um, so I won't take the protective film off all the um, window masks just yet. Um, bog standard, very, very simple to do. So that's that done. Um, I did that white bar as well, and like a complete and utter dipshit, I had a brain fart, and I ended up spraying the bloody LED, um, Spotlight lenses, what a tube I am. So as soon as I realised, after straight after I'd, I'd sprayed them, I wiped the paint off. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because there's a, a decal that goes over, but what an idiot. It just shows you when you're not concentrating what you can do. Right, so what I'm going to do now while that body's hardening is have a crack at this driver. And I'm really not looking forward to it because my painting skills are rubbish. Anyway, let's crack on. Right, that's the shell painted. Um, obviously, window master out, protective films off. Um, it's come up really nice, but obviously, it's very basic. Spent a lot of time on the Willy driver. Um, as I say, painting is not my thing, but I'm quite chuffed with it. It looks all right. I probably, in hindsight, I probably should have done the gloves a different colour to the seat belts, but not to worry. Um, and obviously, it's got the decals to go on yet, so that's going to look pretty cool. Um, I spent a lot of bloody time messing around with the steering wheel to paint it and then I realised it doesn't go on. I mean, I could glue it on, but I'll probably just leave it off for now. So, next step is now to um, cut the decals out and um, we'll, start, um, we'll start putting them on. Right, that's all the um, sort of roofing strut decals on. So there's one at the front, there's this here, and then there's these two. And then there's a complicated bit at the back, which is made up of five pieces, and these side struts. I have to say, if this is obviously aimed at the younger Tamiya generation, that's quite tricky. You you, you need a fair bit of de uh, decal experience to, to do that correctly. Um, <laughs> I struggled. Well, I didn't struggle, but you know, it, it takes some time. Um, anyway, it looks good, but um, I'd be more tempted to paint it next time. I think it, I, I just think it'd be so much easier than to uh, to do that. Anyway, as I say, it looks great. I've also done the the Willy helmet decals, which um, that looks awesome. I'm well chuffed with that. Um, I'm useless at drivers, and I usually just do them with marker pens. Um, the same every time, but I'm, I'm chuffed with that. That's that's really good. Um, I've gone with the box art decal instead of the flames. Um, so that's pretty much that. It's going to look pretty cool. Right, let's get the other grasshopper main decals.
and that's her finished. Um, great build, really enjoyed it. Very simple uh, in places. Decals can be a little bit tricky, um, but it looks absolutely awesome. It's got really good detail on it. When I first saw it, it just wasn't something I was interested in, but I got one because I saw there was a lot of interest in it. Um, it's the little details that are really cool. Obviously, the, the wheelie driver's awesome. Um, he looks absolutely cool in there. If you had an LED set, that'd be awesome because you can put LEDs front and back. Um, those little flags, the little dual aerial, aerial with those little flags at the top, you know, and those silver exhausts at the back. Really cool, really, really cool. Um, the only negative I've got to say, apart from obviously, which is not a negative, is that the, the decals are very tricky, so a new beard have to really sort of take the time on it. It's a soft plastic. It wasn't, even even today, when I was putting like the spotlights together and things like that, it was, you can over tighten so easily, you know. Um, but I mean, it's not a massive negative, is it? But anyway, absolutely, I tried to paint one of the Tamiya's, Tamiya uh, markings on the tyre, and I ended up taking it off with some cleaner. It just didn't look right, because it's only on one side. It looks it looked a bit odd, which is a bit of a shame, because I like doing that. But um, yeah, totally awesome. So if you've watched all these, thanks again for watching. Please tune in for part four when we get her running. Um, I'm quite excited about that to see what it's all about. Um, so once again, if you're new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing, that would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Bye.